create a new document. It should be 1500 pixels wide, and 1000 pixels high, to get the best result for the font, that I am using. Any background can be used for the glass font, but bokeh or lens blurred, are best for this style. Select text tool. I am using font, detente, with a size of 385 points. You can use font, of your choice, and create glass effect, once you learn it. Click on the center of the screen, it will create a new text layer. Then write your text, and adjust it to the center. Now on the text layer, click the layer style button and select, bevel and emboss. Set configurations like this. Style, choose pillow emboss. Depth, 144%. Direction, up. Size, 21 pixels. Softness, 0. Check off, use global light. Angle, 111. Altitude, 37. Gloss contour, select, bring double. Highlight mode, color dodge. Turn shadow mode opacity, to 0. Now, check on the drop shadow, in style menu. Set, opacity to 27. Check off, use global light. Then angle, 115. Distance, 18 pixels. Spread, 0 and size, 46. Contour, select sawtooth. Press OK. Turn, this layer fill, to 0. Make a duplicate, of this text layer. Now turn off the drop shadow effect by clicking the eye, or you can delete this by dragging it to the trash bin. Click twice, on bevel and emboss, to open the properties. Change style to inner bevel. Depth to 1000 pixels. Size, 32 pixels. Softness, 0 pixels. Global light, off. Angle, 107 degree. Altitude, 29 degree. Gloss contour, select ring. Highlight mode, screen. Now in style menu, select stroke. Stroke size, 6 pixels. Position, outside. Blend mode, luminosity. Opacity, 34%. Fill type, gradient. Gradient, choose chrome. Press OK, and you are all set. You can play with the settings to get more of your desired style. A glass effect font looks good on a dark and blurry background. Hope you liked it. You can also navigate to our channel's other videos of your interest. And don't forget to subscribe to catch up our new videos. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.